What should you look for in a three-gun pistol? In three-gun and multi-gun, I think it's more important to look for features than a specific gun type, so I'm going to lay out what those features are and let you choose yourself. First and foremost, you need a reliable gun. Not just one that works once it's been cleaned, but it needs to work under harsh conditions when it's wet, when it's dirty, with high round counts. You want to use a gun that you're not really attached to and preferably not super expensive. You're going to be roughing this thing, you're going to nick it up, you're going to beat it around, you're going to be throwing it into buckets and things like that. You don't want a gun that's a trophy piece. So you need to have a double stack magazine with a high capacity. I prefer 9mm. You want to be at least 15 rounds, preferably closer to 20. A lot of guns now come with 18, 19, or you can get a plus 2, plus 1 kit for your magazines. I like this XDM because it holds 19 right off the box. Ideally, you want a 4 to 5 inch barrel with a full size frame. You don't want to go with a compact because you'll have a decreased distance between your sights and you'll be less accurate. Guns that fit USPSA production class requirements other than the magazine capacity are probably a good starting point. These are usually going to run you less than $1,000. You're going to want a lot of magazines, so mag cost is also a concern. Some of the European gun makers cost $50 or $60 each, while some of the US ones cost $25 or $30. Getting a striker fired pistol is also a very good idea. A lot of clubs or match requirements allow you to throw a loaded pistol into a bucket if it's striker fired, versus if it wasn't, you would have to drop the magazine and empty the chamber, so you can save a little bit of time. You want to find a pistol that's comfortable in your hand and ergonomic and works well with whatever style of grip you prefer. You might consider getting a trigger job to lighten up the trigger pull a little bit, or a fiber optic front sight. So there's too many pistol options to list. I personally use this XDM 9mm with a 4.5 inch barrel. I would also use a 5 and a quarter if I would have bought that. So here are some of the most common guns you'll see at these competitions. You'll see Glock 17s and 34s. Sometimes you'll see 19s because people already have those. You'll see the double stack STI 1911s. Those are huge. You'll see a lot of Smith & Wesson MMPs in various sizes. You'll see some XDs or XDMs. Some people really like Sig P226s, especially law enforcement when they use their duty gun in competition. And finally, you run into some random H&Ks, CZs, some FN pistols. They're just kind of a mixed bag. People just kind of bring whatever their preference is, whatever they might have. And that's kind of the beauty of it. When you're starting a three-gun or multi-gun, you can just start with your equipment and then start, you know, dumping money into the sport once you find out what you want. USPSA multi-gun and three-gun don't differentiate between major and minor power factor in most divisions. The two most common divisions are limited and tactical optics. Certain divisions also have a few rules you want to look out for. For example, if you shoot in heavy metal, there's a certain caliber requirement. Some classes require single versus double stack. So if you're going to shoot in a more obscure category, do a little bit of research. So I recommend 9mm for high capacity, low recoil, and lower cost. But there are some reasons to use 40 Smith & Wesson, and a lot of people do. If you compete in action pistol shooting, you might have a 40 Smith & Wesson gun that you use in limited, so you don't have to buy another one. So some people prefer a 45 or a 40 because of steel targets. If you're shooting some heavy steel plates or some rotating steel targets that need to flip over the top, it can be harder to do that with a smaller cartridge. However, most targets are cardboard or paper cutouts or small steel plates which 9mm can easily dispatch. So therefore, in my mind, it's more important to have a bigger capacity than a bigger cartridge. So one caveat is, is if you use 40 Smith & Wesson and reload your own ammo, you can be even more versatile. You can use full power loads for steel, and then lighter loads for just cardboard that are easier to control. So cost is always a concern. So with 9mm, I can buy factory ammo, shoot it, and not pick up the brass, not worry about it. I don't want to take my time to reload 9mm because it's not really worth it. But if you go with 40, it starts to get more expensive, so you probably want to, you know, make your own ammo, pick up your brass, clean it up, and reload it. And that takes a lot of time. So I think the most important points are, you want a reliable, high capacity gun that doesn't cost a fortune and you don't mind beating on, and there's a ton of great options out there. So what's your favorite three gun pistol? If you have any questions, please post them down below, and I'll get back to you and try to help you out the very best that I can. So I'm Compulsion84, and I like to make gun, gaming, and gadget related videos. If you enjoyed this one, please subscribe and check out my channel, and as always, thank you for watching.